College Station. I'm Grace Hollowell, and today I'm joined by Trey Reeves, our marketing coordinator over at our Parks and Recreation Department. Hi, Trey. Hey, Grace. Great to be back. Yes. Um, we are here today to talk about a not-so-fun topic. Um, I know we try to have as much fun on this show as we can, um, but sometimes things happen um, that aren't so fun that need um, some attention. Um, and recently we have been having some issues with vandalism in our parks. Yeah, I know. Usually I get to come on the show and talk about special events and all kinds of fun stuff. And we have a lot of that going on, but yeah, it is a rising issue in our parks and public spaces, especially. And we're really working to get the word out to the community to see what they can do to help and kind of prevent some of these things that really affect all of us. Yes, and when we say vandalism, it's more than just, you know, spray painting on right. uh, sides of buildings. It's equipment being damaged, um, fences being broken, causing safety issues. Um, so it is happening kind of all over the city. Um, so what can people do when they see these things and these issues? Um, what is the protocol for them? Yeah, so there's really two instances that you could stumble upon, right? If you see something in action, it looks suspicious, looks like it might be someone committing an act of vandalism, maybe harming some city property, uh, you can do one of two things. You can call the CSPD non-emergency line. Don't call 911. Call the non-emergency line at 979-764-3600. Or you can pull out your phone or wait till you get home and fill out an online report at cstx.gov police. If you stumble upon it later, the quickest way that we can get uh, someone on that job is to fill out the C-Quick Fix form. It's at cstx.gov slash C-Quick Fix. You can fill in all the information, give the address, give a description of what is happening, and it goes directly to a city employee. It pings the email. Um, it cuts out a lot of the middlemen that might be easier to contact, but um, it's a one-stop shop that you can easily get directly contacted to a city employee so we can get somebody on that to fix it as quickly as possible. Yes, and definitely if you see somebody in the middle of committing the act of vandalism, um, your safety is the top priority. Absolutely. So if you don't feel safe um, in that current situation, obviously um, get to a point where if you need to report it, um, go to your car. Um, and if you do call 911, if you're not sure if it's an emergency or not, um, they'll tell you to call back on the non-emergency line, like yes. you said, um, because it is the intent that matters. Um, so if you're calling and you're thinking, I'm not sure if this is an emergency, but it does need attention, um, that's something that our cops can address rather than calling 911 for leaving the pickles off of your Whataburger. Absolutely. Um, okay, and then the C-Click Fix. I know our code enforcement team has been on the show before talking about that it's a website and an app. Um, and it is, it's really helpful um, for us and for um, the residents um, to, if you see something, let us know because um, we um, are limited in staff um, and you guys out there in the community are an extra set of eyes that really help us. Yeah, absolutely. We have a ton of great employees. All of our departments are working the best they can to make sure we have a safe and clean city but there's hundreds of thousands of people that can help us out with that, right? So you guys are the eyes and ears um, on the ground at all times. We can't cover as much ground as you can. And really, you guys are the primary stakeholders here. Like, all of us are working together. This is an issue that affects all of us. We all want safe, clean, um, easy beautiful to access, parks. beautiful parks and public spaces. And we pay for those with our taxes, right? So we want to keep that investment going. We want to keep it to be a safe place that everybody can enjoy for a long time. And helping us out with filling out those C-Quick fixes really keeps us on the ball to make sure that we're taking care of the issues as fast as we can. Yes, and I do want to mention too, sometimes um, if the equipment is not working, um, this you wouldn't think would be vandalism, but right. kind of maneuvering it to get it to work and accidentally breaking it. If you let us know, you won't be in trouble. Right. It's the act of letting us know is what we really, really appreciate. Yeah, absolutely. It's just like your parents probably used to tell you growing up, right? I'm not mad that you uh, broke something. I'm mad he didn't tell me. Right. Um, so make sure you're telling us if you see something, make sure that you're always saying something. And I love that you said not all of these vandalistic acts are a teenager in a hoodie sneaking around <laughs> after midnight, right? Sometimes it's accidental. Sometimes um, a kid might accidentally break something on a playground. 
that's what we're here for to fix it as soon as we can but we just have to know that it happened right so once again where can people go to report these types of issues if you see it actually happening actively happening make sure you're in a safe location make sure your safety is the number one priority and then call the CSPD non-emergency line at 979-764-3600 or go to cstx.gov slash police to fill out that form. If you stumble upon it later, it's cstx.gov slash C click fix. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Trey. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Grace. And that's what's up.